Hello folks. This is by far the most complicated setup I've done yet. With my refractor over here, I'm going to be going and, and targeting the Iris Nebula and I've got it sitting on top of my AVX mount. And after I test out and focus my new guide scope, I make sure guiding looks okay and uh, I do all my flats. Then I'm going to switch over to this thing and uh, I'm going to point at Saturn. I want to do Saturn again with the Barlow lens. So it, this is secondary. I, I'm not going to worry too much about this until I make sure this one is pointing at the Iris Nebula and, and capturing images. And I've, I've got about an hour to kill actually after I set up the refractor because Saturn is not going to be in view for me until about a quarter after 11. And that's because I have to wait for it to get past that tree over there and I'm going to have about 40 minutes of, of space right about there before it hides behind this tree on that side so uh, it's going to be interesting I give my chances about uh, uh, I got about a 50-50 chance I'd say that both of these will go as planned if you're if you're seeing this video at least one of them went as planned so I'll be back I'm keeping my fingers crossed Hello folks, it's the next day, and suffice to say, I, I probably did bite off more than I could chew trying to get two telescopes working at once. <laughs> um, the AVX presented problems that I didn't anticipate. I had forgotten um, what backlash is really like, because the CGX does, does such a good job of handling backlash that when I tried to dither with my AVX mount, uh, it, it would really just go into a tailspin. It, 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 the backlash was crazy on that thing, and it took me too long to recover from dithering. And uh, maybe I'm just out of practice with that AVX mount, and uh, I probably could fix that with um, more aggressive PHD2 settings, but I, I wasn't really prepared for that last night, and I and with Saturn thing going on, I, I just decided to move to a target, an HA target, where I didn't even need dithering. And, and I tried 45 minutes on the veil just to see if I can pick it up easily. And I think I'm going to be focusing on this target until I'm done with it. I like that East Veil Nebula. It comes up strong with only 45 minutes of HA. So I'm not sure if I'm going to do an HA plus RGB or a Hubble on this. I'll, I'll figure it out. And uh, that's that. I'm probably going to save my AVX mount if I, for planetary, I think it would do well where I don't have to be concerned about backlash and auto guiding. Um, I mean, I, I was getting great guiding before with my AVX mount, but when, it, when you start bringing in dithering, um, I don't know, maybe some people know how to deal with that, but I had a hard time with it last night. And let me show you how Saturn came out, and <laughs> I'm kind of disappointed in that one as well. Wasn't a great night. Uh, let's close this one. Oh, there's my previous night, Saturn. And this is, uh, let's close these. Okay, well, this is how it looks with a, a Barlow lens that doubled my focal length from 2,000 to 4,000. And look at the difference in size. I, I, I'm really surprised. That was bigger. It came out bigger than I thought. But man, how come I couldn't achieve focus? I'm really disappointed. I, I I focused as best I could on that SCT, but the smaller one seemed like it was much better. I mean, maybe my Barlow lens was out of whack. I'm not sure, but I tried and I tried to to make the Saturn look better. And this is this is what I came up with. I, I know it should be better. So it, it wasn't a great night. It, I'm probably not going to pull that again, trying to do two different telescopes at, at, in one night. I had my hands full, but I gave it a shot. All right, but uh, I think I'm going to put Saturn on hold, and I'm going to put the Iris Nebula on hold, because now I like that Veil Nebula. I'm going to be working on that until I finish it. All right, I'll see you guys later. Um, thanks for listening.